Hello friends, I am Moom and these are the most powerful lens test tools for 2024. But the question is, on what parameters these test tools are called powerful? Because the meaning of power varies from person to person and profession to profession. And in this video, I am going to answer all these questions. So, let's get started. You must know, there is a big misconception about stability. Most people consider the most powerful SDS2 as the most stable one, while in reality it is actually the opposite one. See, the more your distro is stable, the less features it can provide you, because stability comes with a sacrifice. Do you know what type of sacrifices I am talking about? The performance, the amount of features a distro can provide, while in my definition of power, performance, features, and the amount of control you get over the system are at the top of the priority list. And if we are talking about power, then the disk 2 which allows you to customize the disk 2 from its base, the disk 2 which gives you complete control over your system, the disk 2 which lets you change anything from the very basis of the framework and of course gives you great performance is called a powerful Linux disk Now some of you might say that you don't want to tinker with your system once it is set up and it's completely normal and fine actually but as i said in the title this video is only for professionals let me explain this with an example it's like you have a gun but you will never use it on anyone because you don't want to and it's just a tool for self-defense in case of something bad if for the time just in case you have to use it and with that being said here are the distros which are powerful according to these parameters. So I've categorized the list in two sections, the immutable ones and the native ones. And as we already know, immutability is one of the greatest power a Linux distro can have. But nativity is also essential and preferred by most of the users. Now you might think, for what type of work or for what profession these distros will be powerful? Let me tell you. For the people who want to code or develop on this system, Mincharo, Arch, Open Source, Kali Linux, and Endeavor OS are the best. And for creators like app developers and content creators, AV Linux, MX Linux, and LMDE are the best. And how can you forget gamers? For them, Nubara, Pop OS, and Steam OS are the best. And if you have any issue or question about Linux or the topics in this video, then just comment it and I'll try to answer that as soon as possible. And with that being said, I hope you have enjoyed the video and subscribe for daily dose of awesome Linux content on this channel. And I will meet you in the next video. Till then, I'm home, signing off.